This is a brilliant question. This is a question in which we have three pipes attached to a tank and they do not work in parallel, they work in series. Pipe A works for the first minute, it's closed and then pipe B works during the second minute, it's closed and then pipe C is kept open for the third minute and it is closed and this sequence is followed which is what makes this question really interesting. I presume you have read the question, let's quickly get around to solving it. First minute pipe A fills 100 liters into the tank. So the end of one minute, we'll find the tank having 100 liters of water in it. Minute two, pipe A is shut, only B is kept open. B is also a fill pipe, fills at the rate of 25 liters per minute. So at the end of the second minute, we'll find that there are there is 125 liters of water in the tank. 100 at the end of minute one, plus 25 added during minute two, ends up with 125 liters at the end of minute two. The third minute, pipe B is shut, it's only pipe C that's kept open. Pipe C is a drain pipe. It drains 50 liters each minute. So we had 125 to start at the beginning of minute 3. At the end of minute 3, they'll be down to 75 liters. So at the end of a cycle, which comprises 3 minutes, 1 minute of A, 1 minute of B, and then 1 minute of C, we'll be left with 75 liters of water in the tank. These questions, it makes sense to think of it in cycle terms rather than in terms of per minute. Think of it as a cycle of 3 minutes adding 75 liters into the tank. Is this the same as saying that every 3 minutes you have 75 liters, 75 by 3, these pipes are filling at the rate of 25 liters per minute. Can we quickly summarize it this way? No, you cannot. 25 liters per minute essentially means that at the end of each minute, you add 25 liters to the tank. Here that's not what is happening. At the end of one minute, you actually add 100. At the end of minute 2, you probably come to this rate of 25 per minute. At the end of minute 3, you are actually taking away water from the tank. So these questions, thinking of it as a 25 liters per minute is incorrect. You have to think of it only in cycles of however many pipes are there. In this case, it is 3 pipes and each pipe is kept open for a minute. So we'll think of it in terms of cycles of 3 minutes. So how many such cycles are required? At the end of each cycle, we have 75 liters getting into the tank. We need 825 liters to fill the tank. So 825 divided by 75 because at the end of each 3 minute cycle, we have 75 liters. So it's going to take us 11 cycles. Each cycle is of duration 3 minutes. So it's going to take us 11 into 3, 33 minutes. Right? Looks everything is alright. But let's just scratch the surface and look a little deeper. See the 33rd minute, what would have been functioning? It is a third minute of the 11th cycle. Pipe C would have been working. At the end of pipe C working, we have 825 liters. What does pipe C do? Pipe C drains 50 liters. So at the end of end of 33rd minute, we have 825 liters. This minute was a minute where you took away 50 liters from it. So how much water would have been there at the end of the 32nd minute? It should have been 50 more than this, which is 875. It's obviously stupid to take it up to 875 and bring it down to 825. So it's quite evident that we are not going to operate the 11th cycle fully. So how do you solve such questions? Initially quickly check out how many full cycles are required using this method. If one of these pipes is a drain pipe in between, then obviously don't go all the way up to the 11th cycle. In this example, it's 11th cycle. In any other example, it would have been the nth cycle. Stop at n minus 1 or n minus 2 -th cycle and then operate it on a per minute basis. In this case, we'll stop at the 10th cycle because at 11 cycles, this is what you don't need to ever go beyond 11. That's evident. And we also realized you don't even have to go to the 11th cycle. So we'll stop it at the 10th cycle and then from there we'll take it minute by minute. At the end of the 10th cycle, each cycle is 3 minutes, that is 30 minutes, you'll have 75 into 10. Each cycle leaves you with 75 liters of water. 750 liters of water will be there in the tank. Let's start the 11th cycle. 11th cycle, first minute of that cycle, which is the 31st minute. The cycle runs as A, B, C. So the 31st minute, we're going to be having pipe A kept open. What does pipe A do? Pipe A fills 100 liters into the tank every minute. At the end of the 30th minute, 10 cycles, we know 750 liters are there in the tank. The capacity of the tank is 825 liters. 
So if I fill another 825 minus 750, another 75 liters into the tank, the tank will be filled. Pipe A fills 100 liters each minute. Pipe A has to fill only 75. It need not even complete the entire cycle. So to fill 75 liters, Pipe A is going to take 75 by 100, which is equal to 3 fourths of a minute into the 11th cycle. What is the total time taken? Initially 10 cycles of 30 minutes plus another 3 fourths of a minute. Let's write it in terms of seconds, which is equal to 45 seconds. So the entire tank will be filled in 30 minutes and 45, cycle, 45 seconds. So crux, are, crux of this question is essentially two things. One, always think of it in cycles. Don't think of it as a uniform rate of 25 liters. Having got the cycle, quickly compute what is the theoretical full number of cycles required. In this case, it turned out to be 11 cycles. It need not even be full cycles. It could say that 11.23 cycles. Find that value. And then if that number is 11 or 11.23, bring it down by a 1 and stop at the 10 cycle. Stop at the n minus 1 or n minus 2 at cycle. And from that point forward, go about it minute by minute till you actually hit the point where it fills the tank. Quickly consolidate the last slide in a printed form. We need to, we have 750 liters into the tank at the end of the 30th minute, 10 cycles. The 11th cycle has to fill the balance 75 liters to have the tank to be filled. The 11th cycle starts with pipe A. Pipe A fills 100 liters into the tank every minute. So to fill 75 liters, it's going to take only 45 seconds. So total time taken is 30 minutes for the 10 cycles plus 45 seconds into the second, into the 11th cycle. So 30 minutes and 45 seconds. Check out the related videos and remember to subscribe to the channel. What's more, let's make scoring Q51 GMAT a reality. Sign up for the most comprehensive and affordable online GMAT Quan course at gmat.vizaco.com. That's again gmat.vizaco.com.